What is the difference between searching Google on the one hand and library databases on the other? In a word, records. Google doesn't have them. Databases do. The heart of the question is, what exactly do your keywords match up against when you type them in a search box? Google finds your keywords in the titles, URLs, and, significantly, in the actual text of web pages, as you can see from scanning the results. This is one reason why so many results come up in a Google search, more than 300 million in this search. When searching full text, as with Google, it often pays to be as specific as possible in selecting your keywords, as here, for example. Add a couple of words here. Notice how I narrowed the results down to just over 170 million, including scholarly journals, commercial and government websites, and the websites of professional organizations. This is why Google often seems to work so well, even if all you do is type in your topic or research question. The same strategies don't always work in library databases. Why? It has to do with how these resources are put together. Upstate's library search, for example, helps you discover both physical and online materials owned or supplied by the library. By its nature, it cannot search the full text of all of these items, such as the print books on the library shelves. Instead, each item in the library's collection is represented by a bibliographic record, or record for short, which gives certain information about an item. Your keywords match up against words in this record. Because you are searching records that contain limited but important information about an item, keyword searches work best if you select two or three good keywords that describe your topic. And I'm going to select at USCF State Library here to limit my search to books, physical media, and ebooks. You can access the record for a book by clicking on its title. But wait, there's more. A record is organized into fields, each of which contains specific information, such as title, author, year of publication, location, and call number. And if I scroll down, I can find even more fields under Details. The advanced search even allows me to begin my search by selecting some of the more useful fields. Here is a record from Academic Search Ultimate, one of our popular article databases. You can see several fields displayed, and I can select a field to search from the menu next to the search boxes. Some databases, like this one, allow you to search any full text that is present. But bear in mind that a lot of articles won't have full text in the database, so you will still be relying on information from records for many of your searches. Remember, searching library databases is different from searching Google, because your search terms are actually matching up against words in a record rather than full text. Choose keywords carefully, and remember that you can also search by fields of a record, which can be a powerful way to find specific articles or books, works by a particular author, or books or articles on the same subject. If you have questions about searching records, please ask a librarian.